lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys are here for another fun video. So today, if you couldn't notice, uh, we're going to be talking about the Haunted Mansion because this has kind of been my obsession for the last couple weeks. Um, really, when I found out that I could get Haunted Mansion items from eBay and Mercari, mm, the whole world has opened to um, a new realm of purchasing like never before. So I have gone a little crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I've gone a lot crazy, um, in my, uh, new attempt at, uh, creating a haunted mansion collection. So, you know, I've got my Funkos, I have my universal monsters, and now I would like to expand my haunted mansion collection because before the only thing I really had, um, was I have a dress that looks like the wallpaper from the Haunted Mansion. And I also have a pair of leggings that are uh, too big, frankly, um, but they have scenes from the Haunted Mansion on them and I love them to pieces. So basically I roll them, they're like leggings, but I literally have to roll them because they're so tall. Um, so I have to hike them up and then roll them down. And then sometimes I even have to <laughs> roll up the bottom part and they're baggy. It's a really weird look, so I don't wear them very often. Um, but like I said, I love the Haunted Mansion and I love to rep it as much as possible. Um, but yeah, like I said, I had no idea that it was possible to, um, kind of grow your collection, um, from all of these buy and sell sites. So I am not sponsored, of course, by eBay or Mercari, but can I just tell you, I've had a really good experience with Mercari and I've, I've never had a problem with eBay. I know some people talk about problematic sellers, um, never had a problem, not once. Um, all of my shipments come in perfectly in order. Everybody is completely nice when I order from them online. So I definitely recommend if you are looking to like expand a collection, check out Mercari. Um, it's just another app that you download, or I think you could probably go to the website, but it's much more effective, I think, if you have the Mercari um, app. So that's my PSA. Merc Mercari is where I got these guys, and <laughs> I couldn't just get one. I had to get my favorite one, which was the uh, 50th anniversary version, which are super cute, and they have like the uh, Hatbox Ghost over here. You can see them. And then they have just the California Disneyland Haunted Mansion here on the other side. And I just love the gold. I love that 50th anniversary insignia there. I just think it's really, really nice. But um, I don't really have the right head for the total ears. I look a little bit like a weird kid with this one on. So I figure I won't be wearing this one as much because it's got this... It has a string to wear it like this, but who the hell is walking around like this? Not I. So uh, we got that one for just a showpiece to put up in my office slash craft room slash super fun room. And then I got this one that if I do ever go to Disneyland or Disney World again, I will probably bring this one and wear it. This piece lights up the uh, the singing busts. So they light up and then you've got the groundskeeper over here on this side. And then you've got the hitchhiking ghosts on this side. And then even on the back, they've got this awesome skull and they've got of course, the Haunted Mansion on that one. So I think they're fabulous. I got them for a really good price because I looked them up on like the um, Disney shop page and I couldn't find these ones exactly, but similar ones were sh sh kind of selling for like $25 and I got these on Mercari for 14. So I thought that was a pretty good deal and they're just so fun and so cute. And I don't typically wear ears obviously, but like I said, if I ever get a chance to go back to Disney World or Disneyland, I will totally be wearing these. And it even says Grim Grinning Ghosts along the side there. And it's got this tag, which is kind of a pain in the ass. I'd like to cut it off, but then I also don't want to cut it off because if I ever, oh, I don't know. I'm never going to sell them. I don't know what I'm talking about, but it just, it feels weird to cut them off because there's like three or four tags included in this collection of taggages. Anyway. Um, but normally I just put them on 
I don't care. I don't know if I'm supposed to be super fancy with them or something. I don't care. I don't care. I'm just being a 37 year old single woman with mouse ears trying to live my life. Okay. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but like I said, I am trying to expand my collections. So we're starting small, you know, we picked up a couple pieces. So I got these, these mouse ears and I got the other ones. I also got my host a ghost jar that I showed you in my previous video, which is amazing. Um, and then I also want to expand my Funko collection because I know they have several Funkos. The only one I have of the Haunted Mansion currently is Madame Leota and the Groundskeeper. So I'm looking to get, they have one of the Butler and the Haunted Mansion, like a huge, beautiful set. And then they have uh, Constance, who is the bride. They have her in two forms. They have her in her um, stretching picture form, and they also have her as the bride in the bride garb. And that's the one I want is the bride garb one. And then I also want to get the mummy. So if you've been to the Haunted Mansion, you know that when you're going through the graveyard scene, there is a mummy sitting up in a coffin, and he's like listening to a guy with a, like one of those ear trumpets, and they're trying to talk to each other, but the mummy has got bandages all over his mouth, so he can't talk very well. So the guy with the ear trumpet can't hear very well. It's very funny. And uh, I've only been to Disney World twice, and it's been decades since I've been there. Once was when I was very little, it was before my brother was even born. So I think I was like six or seven. And then the second time was when I was in high school. We went with my, um, my band and my choir. We performed in a huge um, Disney holiday extravaganza kind of parade. So I have not been there since high school and that was over 18 years ago thank you very much oh god but it is on my list of places to go eventually you know how it is i mean life gets in the way and you always say i'm gonna eventually get back there and with Halloween halloween horror nights that happen at universal i have to get back there at some point i'm not too sure when but it is um on my list for sure but until i can get there again I'm very happy to know that I can still add to my love for the Haunted Mansion um, in a different way. So, like I said, prices are always really good with Mercari and eBay. Um, and sometimes, you know, if you just show notice in something, like if you click the, there's like a little heart emoji where you can like something, then the sellers can send you private offers. So, like, um, if they're selling it for $25, maybe they'll knock it down to $22 if you buy it within the next 12 hours or whatever. So it's kind of an incentive for you to kind of get motivated to buy it. Um, and it's also a good tool for the seller who wants to get it out of their inventory. So very cool all the way around. I definitely recommend it. The days of going to garage sales, you know, seem so far away, but I still love and appreciate going to a garage sale. But I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get to one again in a while. So it's kind of scratching my uh, love for that itch, I guess. So um, other Funkos I wanna show you that I've picked up. I don't have an unboxing video. I've already unboxed these things because I got too damn excited and couldn't wait. Um, I had a bit of a bodily snafu a couple weeks back. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this in a previous video, but I fell down my back ramp. Uh, I bought a I like a, a raised flower bed and so I assembled it in my house and was going out to um, bring it out into my backyard and we have a back ramp for my dog because she's elderly and she's a dachshund and we didn't want her moving up and down stairs so we converted it to a ramp great for her not so great for mom who tripped at the bottom of the ramp because I thought I was on the ground because I couldn't see because I was holding on to the raised flower bed and I wasn't quite there yet and so I rolled my ankle smashed onto the um, the wooden boards on my left knee rolled my right ankle uh, and messed up my face very badly so I have put makeup on so you may not see it but I had a huge gash that ran down the side of my my face it was very um, Bride of Frankenstein-esque, very, it was gnarly. Um, and so I've been out of commission because I've been a little leery of showing my face with this disgusting thing on my face. Um, I'm hoping uh, that it's 
gonna heal up completely and that there won't be scarring but we're about a month out from my accident and it's still pretty visible even with me putting foundation on my face so we'll see if I'm just that person that's got a gnarly scar then so be it but luckily now wearing masks it's covered up all the time so I don't have to explain what happened to your face to anybody which is awesome um but yeah, so that's why I haven't been doing unboxings because I've just been a little self-conscious about my face. But I'm, I, it's healed over at this point, so now I can put face foundation and stuff on to try and cover it up a bit. So we're back. <laughs> um, you're stuck with me. <laughs> but like I said, I did open up a couple boxes of Funkos that I've purchased, so I want to show you two purchases I got. First one is to... Um, add to my Conan O'Brien collection because you know your girl loves her Conan O'Brien oh my god I love him do you do you watch his new show on TBS where he has a half an hour he devotes it to just a little bit of a monologue and then one guest have you seen this because it's so fabulous um, I just found out that I can watch it on my Hulu app I don't know, I haven't been keeping up with TBS, so I guess I didn't realize that I could still watch it via Hulu, because when we got rid of cable, there were a lot of channels that, you know, we lost, or I just, you know, didn't really watch them that often, and TBS has never been one that I watch a lot, um, but Conan was always my favorite part about it, so I'm very happy to find this show again, so I know I'm, I'm in the minority here, I'm sure everybody has already known about it, but, um, He's lovely, and I've missed him very much. But I saw that they had a 25th anniversary Conan Funko, and it's so very cool because he's orange, and the whole box is orange and black, which is a very different dynamic to a typical Funko box because usually it's a white um, outside, and you know it's uh, it just feels fancy. You know, it just feels like. He's special. And the person I bought this from off of Mercari even sent me a Funko protector box free added into the cost. And this was this was a super cheap Funko. He was only five dollars plus shipping. But like Conan is worth so much more than five dollars. But if you're gonna sell it to me for five dollars, I'm gonna take him for five dollars. So I did. And I love him very, very much. But this is Look at that cute little face. Look at it. I love it. I love him. Conan, I love you. Not that you're going to ever see my video, but I love you. That's for you. Um, so he's been added to my collection of Conan Funkos. Of course, my favorite is always going to be Conan's Monster, but this is a very cool one to add, and I'm very happy to have him in my arsenal. The next group I got, uh, it took me a while to pick them up because these guys are expensive as hell for some reason. I know why, they're super cute, but like, sometimes I look at the price of Funkos and I see the disparity, the disparity from one price on one Funko to another, and it's just insane. Like, literally, fun this Funko was $5. And then the cheapest I could get any of these other Funkos I'm going to show you was at least $30 per item. I think like $25 was the lowest price I could find. But then you add on shipping and tax, and it's well over $30 a piece. Um, so I got this set, though. I was kind of doing a <laughs> quadruple duty. I had like four different sets that people had online that they were selling and I was watching them like a hawk to see if anybody was going to lower the prices down. Um, but the prices were starting out at like 105, 115, $125 for three Funkos. And uh, I'm not okay with spending over $30 on one Funko unless it's a big, huge um, collector type piece. Like I have um, my Scooby-Doo and a Haunted House Funko, and then I have like Peter and um, Sp uh, Spangler um, in the banquet room for uh, Ghostbusters, and then I've got the Sanderson sisters, Harry Potter entering platform nine and three quarters. So there's a couple of them that are bigger pieces that I expect to pay a little bit more for because they're bigger items. Um, what I don't expect to spend $30 on is a standard size Funko, but 
after all that long-winded discussion, I found somebody um, posted a new listing and he came in at like, I think $78 was his initial or $80 was his initial listing. And so I perked up immediately and saw that this was online. I almost bought it immediately. Like I almost just jumped on it, but I was like, mm, no, let's see if maybe he'll try and like lower the cost a little bit to get somebody to bite. And he did. He brought it down to $72 for three Funkos. And so I thought, what is that a piece? Like $28 or so. So I thought, shit, we're going to just buy them. I don't even care. So I did. And it was like, I think $83 or something with shipping and tax added on to it. But I'm not, I'm not upset with this purchase. I'm very, very happy to have these. Uh, and when you see them, you're going to know why. Because you know I love my spooky Funkos. Uh, and I guess I didn't realize how many of them there are out there that I have missed. I mean, obviously there are our serial killer specials like Jason and Freddie and Michael Myers. I don't have Funkos of those guys yet. They are on my list to eventually pick up. Um, but in the realm of serial killers, the only one I really, really truly needed was Ghostface from Scream and I did pick him up. I got an unboxed version of him a couple years ago and uh, I'm still sad he doesn't have a box, but I'm thrilled to have him because he is super expensive to purchase with or without a box anymore. So I'm happy for that one. But then like, I'm just noticing that they're putting out these kitschy, really cute Funkos. And so I think that these came out 2019 maybe, but they are Huey, Dewey and Louie, like the cousins or the nephews, I guess, from, um, Donald Duck, um, and DuckTales. And so there was a cartoon short back in like the 60s, I think, or 70s, where they're going trick-or-treating. And they're going to their Uncle Donald's house to go trick-or-treating, and Uncle Donald is playing tricks instead of giving treats. And a witch named Witch Hazel sees this, and so she teams up with the, the three boys, and they kind of in turn give Donald a trick instead. Um, but I've always loved it since I was a kid and it was always in something called Disney's Halloween Treat. And every year it came up on Disney Channel and we would watch it and we'd absolutely love it. And they would have like scenes from like Fantasia and they'd have, um, I think Lonesome Ghosts was in there and of course the dancing skeletons and the graveyard scene was a part of it. But it was just kind of a mishmash of all of these beautiful Halloween type cartoons from Disney's vault. So that one was always one I remember because the nephews are dressed up in their Halloween costumes. And holy crap, they're so cute. The one I always wanted though was Louie because Louie was dressed in a ghost outfit. He, so he had a sheet on and um, for some reason they always attached a pumpkin to him. I don't know if there's a scene where he's carrying a pumpkin. I can't really remember at this point. But the Funko for him, he has a pumpkin sitting on his head and he's got his ghost costume on. And he's so precious. So literally I was going to just buy Louie because I just thought he was so, so sweet. But the cheapest I could find him was like $68 for just Louie. And I was like, no way, no way. So I found this deal, I'm very happy. So let me, you know, without further ado, we're gonna show you these guys. So I'm gonna do them in order. So we've got Huey, dressed up like a cutesy tootsy little <laughs> devil. <laughs> sweet. I love him. I love him to pieces. I think he is so, so sweet. So Huey, of course, is the first one. And then Dewey is dressed like a witch. So you know your girl's gonna love that one too. But there is sweet little Dewey. I don't know if you can see him very well in there. Let's see. But he does have a hat on his head. And he's got a broomstick that he's holding on to. So he looks like that. Just so cute. Just so freaking cute, man. And then here comes Louie. Okay, here's Louie. Look at how cute he is. Oh, I love him. I love him. Look at his cute little face. 
his cute, cute little face, and then he's got that smiling, adorable pumpkin sitting on top of his head. So that's what he looks like. So uh, literally, guys, for a couple months, I was just typing in Louis 608 into Mercari, seeing what would come up, or Louis Halloween costume, or Louis Funko, and there's like a, um, I think Louis is the name of the ape from... Um, the Jungle Book. So I guess there's a Funko for him too. So I kept getting a bunch of like Funkos for him and I was like, wrong Louie. I don't want that Louie. I want this one. So uh, he was my uh, <laughs> major selling point for picking these guys up. But I am so freaking jazzed to have these handsome guys in my life. So all three of them together are magical and I just I just love them. Look at how cute they are. <laughs> so those are the newest Funkos in my life. Uh, and I think I'm gonna I'm gonna cool it with the Funkos for a little while just because like I said, there are ha um Halloween haunted mansion ones that I want to pick up. And there's a couple other ones that are like different like I've never heard of like Overwatch but there's one with a big pumpkin head and he's super cute. And I'm like, I have no idea who this character is or anything, but I kind of just want to add him to my collection because he's Halloween inspired. But uh, we're gonna, like I said, put that on the back burner for now. Uh, and we're working more towards my Haunted Mansion collection at this point. So we got these guys. I've picked up, um, apparently there was a Marvel comic book that they came out with for the Haunted Mansion back in like 2018 or 19, I think again for the 50th anniversary of Disneyland's Haunted Mansion. And so um, I bought a uh, kind of a graphic novel where they compiled all the comics into this one book. Because I'd love to have each individual comic, but I don't want to spend that money when I can kind of just get them all in one cohesive spot. So we're going to be getting that in the mail soon, um, along with, I got the first copy of the comics. Um, it was like a variant cover with the Hatbox Ghost on it. It's called Fried Pie. I don't understand what... I'm not a comics person um, yet, but apparently there are a lot of horror comics that apparently I need to fall down the rabbit hole and get obsessed with as well, but <laughs> one thing at a time, guys! One at a time! Holy crap! But we're another thing to just fall down the rabbit hole with basically. So I'm going to be looking into that. Um, and I will of course show you guys my Haunted Mansion collectibles when they come in. Um, last things I want to talk about very quickly. First I want to show you a present that my lovely bosom friend Nicole Newman gave me a couple weeks back. We went and met for brunch. It was the first time I'd seen her and it's too long. Every time we, we see each other I feel like we should have seen each other a lot sooner than we have, but life, you know, and with the pandemic and everything, whatever. But it was so good to see her beautiful face. And I was there with my other friend, Nicole Triplett, who I love to pieces. She came up to visit me from Columbus. So we, uh, of course, had to meet up for brunch with Nicole Newman. So she gifted me this gorgeous little portrait here of my favorite universal gal, the Bride of Frankenstein. Um, I am not sure, I haven't opened this up, I'm gonna see right now if maybe there's a name or something of the artist that drew this. I don't think there is, I think it's just a card. Oh, well, there's a signature in the very bottom corner. I, of course, I can't read that. But that's the person that's responsible for this gorgeous, gorgeous drawing. So she ordered this for me and I just thought it was so lovely and so thoughtful. So she put it in this gorgeous little frame and uh, she is going to start living permanently on my bookshelf back here. I gotta find a nice spot for her, move some things around, but isn't she lovely? I'm so thrilled. Anything, anything Universal Monsters just makes my heart sore, but there's something so special about the bride. I just... I love her. I love Elsa so much. I thought she was perfect in that role. I love her. We can talk about the Bride of, Man Bride of Frankenstein. <laughs> the Bride of Mansion. I, my brain, I almost... Can, mm, the Bride of Frankenstein. We could talk about her all day long, truly. But I don't have all day. I'm already at 24 minutes on this 
darn video. Um, last thing I want to talk about is just a quick book review of this book here, Tuesday Mooney Talks to Ghosts. Okay, I might have talked about this in a previous video of me, you know, getting the book and starting to read it. This was um, the first book in a very long time where I was like not putting it down. It was like Harry Potter where I just wanted to keep listening to it, keep reading it. So I got the audiobook, Audible version of it on Audible and then I purchased a hard copy of it because I, li I literally loved this book so much. So read it and then got the Audible version and now I've taken to listening and reading together. I don't know what it is about that. I think it's from when I was younger and we did that with Jim Dale and the Harry Potter books. My mother and I absolutely adored those audiobooks. And so there's something comforting about hearing somebody read you a story, um, but following along, you know, feeling like you're engaged in it. So I will tell you, it is, it's such a fun book. And I feel like I haven't picked up a book that was like fun and relatable. And the way Kate writes feels very like she's your friend and she's just kind of recapping her week or something. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like Kate um, has such a way with her words when she is explaining something. And so the whole purpose of this story is Tuesday Mooney is our main character. She's got a funky name. She's got a funky personality. She's just fabulous all around. You know, she is the person I wanted to be in high school. She was quirky and didn't really care if you liked her or not. Like, whatever. And so she works um, with an organization where she's looking for donors um, with, I think it was a hospital. God, I think it's the hospital that she works for. And so she's at a benefit trying to raise money. And so she knows all of these, you know, donations um, coming from these big names. And uh, she falls into this situation where they... Um, create like a, a scavenger hunt and the entire city of Boston is in on the scavenger hunt if you want to follow the clues there is a old um, you know millionaire named Vincent Price who doesn't spell his name like my beloved Vincent he spells it P-R-Y-C-E instead of P-R-I-C-E but Vincent has put together a wonderful scavenger hunt for anybody that is a fan of Edgar Allan Poe um, because he is a beloved author to him and so he's pieced together these little clues all around the city that people have to kind of come together and find it and then he has this big soiree um, that actually turns out to be his his, uh, his funeral because Vincent passes away and has elaborately set up this whole scavenger hunt for anybody that wants to join in. And so he kind of tasks his, his now widow to uh, kind of oversee the scavenger hunt. And Tuesday Mooney kind of inadvertently finds herself in the middle of the scavenger hunt and she's smart and witty and she gets you know paired up with her uh, her neighbor girl who's kind of an outcast you know her mother's passed away and she lives with her dad it doesn't really get her and uh, so she gravitates to Tuesday because Tuesday is just that cool um, person that everybody wants to be friends with you know to mean to be completely honest and then Tuesday of course has her gay best friend who is sassy and fabulous in every possible way. Um, I really loved it because Kate takes you um, through Tuesday's perspective and then she'll turn and then she'll do it from somebody else's perspective. So we're getting a different dynamic with the book as it goes along. So you get um, the next door neighbor girl's perspective, you get her best friend's perspective and it's just really, really cool. I. I cannot recommend this book enough. So again, Tuesday Mooney Talks to Ghosts. It is freaking wonderful. If she ever writes more Tuesday Mooney books, I, um, I'm, I'm there. Because I, I'm not too sure where she would take it next, but I loved all the characters. Love the story. Definitely, definitely recommend it. So uh, that's it for today. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well and feeling healthy. I am now fully vaccinated as of today. So today was my 14 day point. So 
vaccination. Woo woo. I am thrilled, guys. I, I feel really, really good about just walking outside of my house anymore. It's divine. So if you have the opportunity to get vaccinated, what are you waiting for? Freaking do it already. So that's it. That's where we're going to end it today. Um, I want to hear about you guys. I want to hear how you're feeling, how you're doing. Anybody adding to their collections of anything? I want to hear about it. New books, new Funkos, new Universal Monster things, just new in general. I want to hear about it. So I just went through this whole video with this thing on my head and I'm really, really impressed with that. I'm going to see if I can show you if it's going to light up at all. I don't know if you can tell that it, uh, ooh, oof, that it glows. You can kind of see that it's got that, um, you know, the glow filament. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of like a yellowy color and that's how you know it's going to glow. Does that make sense? Maybe? I don't know. But it is. That's what it is. So, I've never really walked around in the dark with it on, but so, who cares? Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. I love you guys so much. Thank you for consistently coming and visiting with me. I know you don't have to, and I know there's a million videos out there, a million people that are creating wonderful things. So, if you spent any time with me today, I just want to give you a big and a big thank you. So uh, I will see all of your lovely faces in the next video.